Happy November. I am so excited to be back bringing you my third video in a row featuring kind of DIY home decor items. In today's video, we're going to be going over how I created these pillar candles which feature hand-dried and hand-attached leaves. You'll see in the picture, the leaves are attached using straight pins which gives a really nice kind of um, nail head brad look which is what inspired this project. I am always really drawn to furniture that has those nail heads um, attaching the fabric to like the wood frame so I created something similar using pillar candles, straight pins, and pressed turned leaves. So you'll see in the photos I have both a short and a tall pillar candle. I definitely recommend starting with the tall because finding leaves short enough to fit this guy was a little bit of a challenge. So that's the first step. You're going to need to get all your supplies. You're going to need pillar candles of some sort. They do have to be solid wax because you are pushing straight pins into the candles. It can't be the electric kind. You'll also need to collect leaves that fit your pillar candles. I actually brought my candles outside with me when I selected the leaves, so uh, that kind of saves you a couple trips in and out of the house. You'll also need straight pins. You'll see in the video that I'm using regular length straight pins that have the kind of nail head top. Now straight pins also come in a shorter length, about, I want to say a half an inch. I didn't have those on hand. So I just went with regular length straight pins. But if you are going out to buy pins for this project, definitely look for the short, um, like I said, about a half inch size. It'll make your life a lot easier. So that's what you need. You need leaves, candles, and pins. So the first step is going to be to iron your leaves flat, just like in um, the first fall decor project I did with you. You're going to iron them flat using wax paper. So that is another supply you'll need. You'll need wax paper. All you'll do is All you'll put your do leaves in between two sheets of wax paper and iron them with a traditional iron. And that um, kind of seals the leaves and also makes them flat and somewhat pliable. It does also help preserve the color so these candles will last a bit longer. Then what you're going to need to do is line your leaf up on your candle, whatever position you're looking for. You'll see on the smaller pillar candle, the middle leaf is straight up and down while the side leaves are kind of at an angle. So whatever look you're going for, you can also layer leaves and do kind of a fanned out look, but I just want for nice, simple, um, simple patterns here. So then you are going to start at the bottom and you're going to start to put your nail I'm sorry, your pins in right along the seam of the leaf, right along the vein. Now you won't want to put it straight through the middle of the vein because that will split the leaf. So you'll want to put it just to the side. I learned that the hard way, uh, so hopefully that saves you a little heartache there. Um, and so you'll just evenly place them up the center of your leaf first. Now I only stick my pins in using my hands slightly. And then what I do is go back using a pair of pliers or something with a flat surface. I push the, the pin in using that. Otherwise, you would really kill your finger. It would hurt so bad. So that's another reason why having short pins would be a lot easier. It is the reason why. So be careful with your fingers. Maybe use a thimble if you have that on hand. That would have been a good idea I didn't think about. But you'll see in the video I use a pair of pliers to slowly, slowly push your pin in all the way. So once you have your middle row done, then you'll move and do the next biggest seam the same way. And then if you are doing a large leaf and you have another seam, you'll move on to that one. Start biggest seam to smallest. And that will help you get your leaf nice and stretched evenly over your candle. Keep it nice and round. Then. If you happen to have little points on your leaf that stick out that you're not going to do the whole vein in the pins, maybe just put one in on the corner there to keep it from popping up. Now these candles have an awesome, awesome, awesome look. I absolutely love them. However, they're not 
buyer safe after a while for two reasons. One, I now have pins sticking in here. So eventually, if I were to light this candle, it would burn down to the pins. Um, so that could be dangerous. Also, this is a natural dried leaf. So if you were to burn this down so that the leaf came in contact with the flame, you would have a real fire hazard. So these are for decoration mainly. I did light mine for um, the pictures, but I don't recommend it. If you want to burn the wick so it gets black and has a used look, that's fine. But please, please, please exercise caution. So that's it. It is that easy. You will love this project. You could also get away from running the pins all along the veins of the leaf if you want to make a pattern. I just wanted to follow the natural lines. Um, you really can't go wrong no matter what you do. I will let you know that the tips of all my leaves broke off due to the fact that I was splitting the leaf with the pin and also just the fragileness of fragility of the leaves. But that's not a problem. I think it still looks really fantastic. I love having these on the mantle and I think um, it's kind of an unusual, somewhat edgy look to this nature project. So I hope you like this. I'm not sure what my next project is going to be. There might be another fall DIY thing thrown in there. In fact, I think there will. So um, stay tuned and definitely follow me on Instagram, on Facebook. I love to chat. I hope you guys like this project and are inspired to do it for yourself. Have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.